YSK never ask a first responder what's the worst thing they have ever seen. Why YSK? Because it can put them back into that horrible situation that they have been trying to forget or taken years to forget. The smells, noises and the whole scenario. Instead ask what's the funniest thing they have seen. As a retired first responder, I'll ask you sure you want to know. If they say yes, I'll lay on all the gory details. It is actually therapeutic. If they do tell you a story, it's the worst story they're willing to share. I just tell folks something gross or bloody. That's what they want to hear. I don't take it personally anymore cause folk just want to know the job. Honestly though, the worst thing I've ever seen is my paycheck. Some of us care. A fair amount of us don't. We learn to deal with trauma by talking about it anyways. But our worst story may not be the one you want to hear. Like getting called to the town drunk and he's naked covered in shit. And unable to get up on his own. My sister told me about the time she responded to a call and a girl obviously in shock was trying to give CPR to her boyfriend's severed head. They had been on their way to work. The girl in her car following the boyfriend on his motorcycle. And he got hit by a truck. Sis worked with the couple at the hospital and was also a paramedic. I made a similar mistake once. I asked a nurse if anything interesting happened at work that day hoping for a funny story. He explained to me how and why a butthole works the way it does and why you never want it to stop. Working like a butthole. I gained a new appreciation for buttholes and an irrational fear every time I poop that I might break mine. I don't ask healthcare workers about their days anymore. Yes. Let's normalize not asking random people about their most traumatizing memories. First responders. Soldiers. Mailmen. Nobody. You should never ask a soldier if s he's killed anybody. I work with a lot of veterans and ex-police and my favorite thing to ask is what's the stupidest thing you've ever seen. It's never failed to give me sore ribs and a grin for days. To me there's a difference between goriest thing I've ever seen and worst thing I've ever seen. Gorious doesn't have to be traumatic whereas worst implies traumatic. Hey, quickly relive one of your most traumatic experiences for my entertainment. A nurse here. I don't use people's worst days for conversation material. Some things deserve dignity and to not be brought up again. You don't need to know about the screams I've heard. The abuse I've seen. All the horrible ways people have died alone. I'll gladly share some funny stories about poop smeared on the walls or Pepsi bottles stuck up. Someone's butt. But don't ask me about the worst things. Long time first responder here. We get asked that all the time and none of us would last very long if we didn't have mental mechanisms in place to get through this stuff. We each have our own way of answering so it doesn't get too crazy. To all first responders thank you for your service. You are the true heroes. All the first responders I've spent time with. Worked with or been trained by. Couldn't wait to tell the goriest situation. I suppose it's on their terms. But they seem to love a decapitation story. One of my best friends is an emergency room anesthesiologist. I met him at a coffee shop I worked at years ago. We were joking at some point back and forth, and I think he was joking about it the amount of time he spent at that coffee shop and I said some throwaway line about visiting him at work because of how much he visited me at work and he said you never want to see me at work. If you see me at work you're currently having the worst day of your entire life. And you're probably about to die.
I had a first responder tell me a story without prompt, and I wish I could forget what he said. Or a mental health counselor. I am asked what was your worst case every questions all of the time. 100 I dated a former Green Beret and never once asked him if he'd killed anyone or anything remotely close to that. He shared what he wanted to with me. He made a point several times to thank me for that because apparently most people think asking about that is fine. I'll be quietly upset as I've learned I have to be. Then tell you a story but it will be a PG-13 story. Then I'll get quiet for a while and probably stare off into the distance. The things you see are incomprehensible. Please don't make me remember them for your entertainment. Depends on who is asking and if I like them or not. If I like them I have a few crazy and funny stories. If I don't like them or if they are asking in a dickish sort of way I'll dead child them so hard. It'll ruin Thea entire night. And I can be very descriptive about the screams of Thea loved ones. Had a buddy EMT. He said worst was a lady vomiting actual shit. Because she was so constipated. He said he won't ever forget the smell. No thanks. What's the worst thing you've seen as a paramedic? My co-worker who killed himself on the job because he couldn't handle the stress any longer. Any other questions? Yes. It's dark. It's also true. And it you have the nerve to ask. You deserve to hear the truth. I was recently leaving a job and my supervisor was going over all the crisis situations I went through as a therapist in community mental health. I remember thinking, oh yeah, I buried that shit way down. I was definitely more on edge for the rest of the day because the memories kept popping up. I am a registered nurse with 25 years experience. I worked pediatric cancer and currently work pediatric ER trauma. I used to hate this question. Now I don't care and just say that I have seen a lot of crazy stuff. As far as being reminded of the insanity, I still carry a lot of what I saw with me. As far as the kids go I have a good clinical detachment in my own head that sort of keeps it at arm's length. It also helps that I quit drinking six, seven years ago. Many people say my humor is the darkest they have ever seen. I should probably talk to someone about this. I have a brother-in-law who worked as a 911 operator for 15 plus years. I once asked my sister how he can handle that sort of job and she told me that there was multiple. Nights where he came home and just burst into tears in her arms I have the utmost respect for people in that position. Cool. But first tell me about when your closest relative friend died. Or they'll just say you're ugly ass. Which you've got to admit you kind of walked right into that one. Retired first responder here. Can confirm. Bro. There are plenty of people who see severed heads and sleep well that very night. It depends on the person. I usually ask, what is your craziest story? This allows them to choose what they want to talk about. It could be funny, gory, scary, traumatizing. It's up to them how they interpret crazy. And it usually works really well made some great friends from asking them that question. Outside of first responders hairdressers have great crazy stories. Instead of gore, rotten flesh and the like I give them the swollen gross genitalia stories. People die all the time but what people live with always hit me on a different level.